Hey guys, thanks for joining. Today I'm gonna to show you how to add some eumorphism to your UI design elements. Obviously this can be done also in Illustrator or using CSS, but for my tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it using Photoshop. All right, let's get started. Go to your layers panel and let's choose a color for the background. I'm gonna choose a, a pale blue. Pale seems to be the way to go when it comes to eumorphism. Click OK. Option Backspace to fill the layer or Alt Backspace on a PC. Now I'm going to go to the Shape tool and I'm going to choose Rounded Rectangle tool. I see in the properties above that the color of this shape is going to be a light blue similar to my background and that's exactly what I want with no stroke. Okay, now I go down to the stage and I drag out my button shape. Okay, great. Now I'm going to double click on that layer. Right now I don't see the button, the button shape anymore because it's the same color as my background, but I'm going to go down to Drop Shadow. Um, now this Drop Shadow, you're going to make your first Drop Shadow, make it white, click OK, Distance 15, Size 30, and the Angle minus 60. Okay, make sure that your Use Global Light is deselected. Okay, now we're going to add another Drop Shadow layer. Um, if you don't have multiple drop shadow layers, just click on the plus and it'll add one for you. On the second drop shadow layer, we do not want it to be white. So we're going to, we're going to click on that color picker. And now we're going to choose the background color to make it the same as our background. And we're going to add a little darker. Okay. We want the exact same properties of 15 distance, 30 size, opacity 100. But now what I want is I want it to go to the opposite direction. That's good. And now click OK. And let's just add some text to that button. Let's make it a little darker. And we're going to write. That's right. All right, that looks awesome. Now, once we're done, creating other elements are super simple. You can just go to the Shape tool, choose Ellipse tool, drag out the shape that you want. And back in the Layers panel, you hold down an Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC, go above the Effects layer, and drag it up to your ellipse, to your circle. Um, and there you have it. And that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon to get notifications, leave your comments, questions, or feedback in the comments section below. Please let me know if there's anything specific that you want to learn. Thank you, and have an awesome day.